All right, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Just mixed up the pre. Already had my coffee this morning. Um, so this is gonna put me at a nice like 500 milligrams of caffeine. Been adding some salt to my pre lately. Um, just to get me through these longer lower body sessions. Now that I'm actually able to move some weight, I'm actually able to train a little bit harder. Um, just wanted a little extra electrolytes in there. And also for my upper body days, just for a nice little pump. So got the pre mixed up. Before we go to the gym, I wanted to show y'all the new SPD straps that I just got in the mail. Um, I haven't been able to use them because it's gonna be my first deadlift day with them today. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all some of the specs on them. So the genius of these or the new innovation on these, right? SPD's always trying to innovate. They're always trying to make something new. They made the belts, they made the buckle, the adjustable uh, lever. On these, they're trying to com combine comfort with strength, right? So most, the straps that I have are nylon right now, and they're very strong. I feel like they'll never tear, but they can be a little bit uncomfortable because of how hard the nylon is and how it kind of like digs into your wrist. So these are supposed to combine the strength of a nylon with the comfort of like a cotton strap, right? That's the whole, the whole premise of these. So it's a weave technology with the Kevlar, with Kevlar and with cotton. I'll show y'all real quick up close. Here it is, you can see the weave. I'm assuming there's both Kevlar and cotton in this top part as well. You can kind of see it in there if you look really close. There's like little red specks in there. So obviously everybody doesn't need straps, but if you are a hook grip puller and you don't want to do all your volume with, with hook grip, because again, that can get really painful, the thumbs can get really beat up, then straps are a nice luxury to have for the back down work. So that's what I'm going to be using them for today. Um, I don't really have much else to say. They are just straps at the end of the day, but I will let y'all know at the gym how they're feeling, the comfort, um, and then how they feel like they're holding up. Obviously, just with one session, we're not gonna know the strength of them, right? Like no strap is gonna tear in one day, but I will let y'all know the comfort um, and just how they're feeling and how I like them. I don't know the price point yet. They haven't told us, and it, it's not on the website yet. So I guess that would probably be a big determining factor for a lot of people and if they wanna buy them. Uh, but I'll let y'all know at the end of the video if I recommend uh, and what I think about them. So that's all I got for right now. Um, I'm gonna sip on this pre and then I will see y'all at the gym. What's up y'all just pulled up here to mount olympus um finally training with the boys again jesus and pablo are already inside they're probably already warming up so i'm gonna make this quick um but this is episode one powerlifting america nationals road to nationals we're gonna do another little series um obviously y'all know i said in the last video i linked back up with joey so he's doing my programming again we talked about it um and we decided it's best if i can do sumo right now i should just switch to sumo right now so that road to 800 series is gonna have to be put on hold for conventional. Um, I would I would have needed like probably like two to three more blocks to hit it, and I just don't have that time right because I only have four blocks until national. So I kind of need to get into this sumo work, start feeling the position again, start building the adductor up in that position again, um, and then so I can be ready for national. So the plan was always to go back to sumo. We just got to do it a little bit earlier. Um, but eventually we're going to get back to that conventional goal when I have some extended amount of time where I'm not competing, where I'm healthy, where I can move some weight. So, so I got for y'all right now. I am excited. This is officially, we're going to call this officially the start of prep. Technically started last week, but we're going to call this the start because this is episode one. But yeah, I'm on my Joe Cap shit. I'm on my Ian Bell shit. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep getting better. However long it takes. Uh, hopefully in four months we can hit this nice little PR total. Set ourselves up for bigger meets, more meets, better competition. Yeah, so that's all I got for y'all right now. I'm gonna finish off this pre. I got a couple sips left, and then I will see y'all in the gym.
just hit top set 260 for a double. Um, obviously, heaviest sumo since Worlds. Feeling really good. I would say maybe a one out of 10 pain tops. Not bad. Here with the boys. Y'all seen the boys at the beginning. Um, really wanted to go heavier, right? Just because the energy is a lot better when you're training with people. But I'm trying not to force it, trying to let this acclimate to this sumo position again. Um, but in terms of technique, efficiency, strength, hook grip, everything feels on point dialed in today. So feeling really good. I'm gonna probably go 225, 495 for the back downs. Hopefully by the end of the block, I think we have a double at the end of the block. I'm hoping like upper sixes, maybe even 700, right? If I can push to 700, I will. Um, because at that point, I'm, I'm assuming I should have like no adductor pain, right? In another two weeks, it's so low right now that it should be good in two weeks to push, so. y'all second back now and down repping four reds again don't know how how good it feels to be able to just do work just to train normal right adductor i feel like one out of ten again it's just like a little bit sore a little bit tight at the bottom but it's so slight that i almost would say it's like it's negligible right it's like such a small amount but feels good man feels, feels good to be back with the boys feels good to be back in prep Feels good to be working towards something. Um, gonna knock out the rest of this data. I'm not gonna show y'all the same shit. And then we got bench, we got bell squat. All right, y'all. Still getting this bell squat in. But so far, one of the best sessions I've had in a really, really long time. Doing my best to take it in, appreciate it, and enjoy myself. Because obviously I don't always have this luxury, right? There's been a lot of months, a lot of times over the last three, four years of me getting injured repeatedly, where I don't get the opportunity to do what I'm doing today. So I'm trying to take it in as much as I can, enjoy myself as much as I can, be with my boys, talk, lift, um, move some weight, and just keep getting better, right? So yeah, I can't stress enough how happy this session makes me and the mindset and like the positive mindset is giving me going forward right so she excited to keep working excited to keep getting better here in the posing room, Mount Olympus. Was trying to show all the legs, but they're not looking up to my standards right now. So we're gonna wait a few more weeks, get a few more belt squat pumps, and then maybe we'll start showing off the wheels again. But finish up with this session. Man, I'm telling y'all, I'm just gonna keep saying this shit. I feel so fucking good right now. So much, I feel like just this session right now, it just feels like a turning point, right? I was able to do four reds and a blue on sumo deadlift. Haven't done that since Worlds. Pretty much, I would say, minimal to no pain, right? Maybe like a one out of 10, some slight discomfort, but no real pain. Um, and then I was able to push belt squat hard, right? I did three plates. It might not look that hard on video, but in terms of how my quads felt, the pump, like skin splitting type pump in my quads right now. Again, something I just have not been able to do recently. Um, with this one-time squat, one-time deadlift, obviously that leaves me more allowance to push on things like belt squat when I couldn't push that before because my knees just couldn't handle that much work, right? So one-time squat, one-time deadlift, kind of give me a little more allowance to push these accessories and hopefully grow these legs a little bit more 
And then obviously we want that to carry back over to the comp lifts and help me improve the comp lifts. So it's just a, it's just a theory right now. We don't know for sure if it's gonna work for me. Um, but what I do think is it's gonna allow me to get back to where I was, even if it doesn't let, allow me to get better. Um, and then when I get back to where I was, then maybe we can add that second day back in, add that second sumo day back in if I need it. Um, but if I don't, if I just start getting stronger, start hitting PRs, then fuck it, we just keep doing this. It's easier anyways, and it gives me a little bit more rest time on the weekends, right? So win-win either way. Um, yeah, but positive session, positive outlook on training going forward. Um, that's all I got for this video. If y'all want those straps, oh yeah, review on the straps. The straps, super soft, they do conform to your wrist really well. They do have this like pliability to them that a, a nylon strap does not have. Obviously, I can't tell you about the strength of them yet until I use them for a long period of time, right? But I'm assuming they're strong. SPD says they're strong. They felt good today. Um, so if you want those, I have a link down below. I believe they're going on sale today. Um, and then if you want any of the other stuff that I wear, obviously full 100 fit today, 100 shoes. They just dropped the red pair too, super fire. Um, I have my links down below. Helps me out. 100, you get a little discount. SPD, you don't really get nothing except helping your boy out. So that's all I got for this video. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate the support. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.